Welcome back. In our last tutorial, we showed the basics of building an ad hoc contract data report. If you are not yet familiar with that process and you have not watched the first video, please take a moment to watch it before viewing this one so that you have the basics down. In this video, we'll be learning how to create an intermediate level report that includes various filters. To get the most out of this demonstration, we recommend that you sign in to SAM.gov in another browser window and follow along as we build the report. Let's begin by looking at our report requirements. We want to see the contracts and their dollars obligated that were awarded by DOD but were not funded by DOD. We also want to exclude the Department of the Army and any agency ID starting with 97, which excludes agencies that are not part of the four main branches of the DOD. And we want all of this information for fiscal years 2019 and 2020. Now that we've got the requirements down, let's hop into SAM.gov. We'll begin on the home page. Select Data Bank, located in the header menu. From here, make sure Contract Data is selected under Show Reports for, and then select Ad Hoc under Report Type. From there, select Award IDV Reports. Now that we are in the Reporting tool, we will select the Create button to create a new report. Select New Report, Blank Report, as a side note, you can also use this report using the Report Builder. We do have a separate video that covers that tool. Now, we know that we want data for fiscal years 2019 through 2020. So we input 10-1-2018 as the start date and 9-30-2020 as the end date. Do not enter anything for the last modified dates as they are not required. Select Edit in Design Mode. Now, we will add our attributes and metrics. For attributes, select Schema Objects, and then click on Attributes. Click on the Contract Identification folder, and double-click PID. Then go to the top panel to go back to the Higher folder. Select the Department and Agency Information folder and double-click on Contracting Department ID and Contracting Department Name. Once again, use the top panel to go back to the Higher Attributes folder, this time selecting Funding Source. Double-click on Funding Department ID and Funding Department Name. We now have all of the attributes we need. Let's add our metric. Go to the top panel again and select Award IDV Information. This time, select the Public Objects folder and then the Metrics folder. Then the Metrics folder again and double-click on Dollars Obligated. At this point, our report is basically built. All that's left to do now is filter it according to our specifications. We want to see contracts awarded by DOD. So let's do that by bringing the right attribute to our filter panel. Go back to the top panel and select Award IDV Information. Since we want to filter on attributes, select Schema Objects, then select Attributes. Go to the Department and Agency folder. From there, drag the Contracting Department ID attribute to the filter panel. We know that the DOD Department ID is 9700, so let's set this attribute equal to 9700. Click Apply. Now, we want to exclude the Department of the Army and any agency starting with the number 97. We will do that by adding two more filters, both based on the Contracting Agency ID attribute. Let's start with the exclusion of the Department of the Army. Drag the attribute to the filter panel. Set the filter operator to does not equal and then enter 2100 for the Department of the Army. Click Apply. Next, 
Drag the agency ID attribute to the filter panel again to create a second filter. To exclude agencies starting with 97, select does not begin with and type in 97. Click apply. We have one more filter to include, which will make sure that we do not get results about contracts funded by the DOD. Go back to the Attribute folder, select Funding Sources, and drag Funding Department ID to the filter panel. Select Does Not Equal and type in 9700, which is the code for DOD. Click Apply. Now, let's run the report. Here is the result. To check the report, we can drill to the contracting agency ID to see if our filters were applied correctly. To do that, right-click on the Funding Department ID column, go to Drill, and select Contracting Agency ID. Once we do this, we can sort by the ID by clicking on the arrow at the top of the column. And we can see that the Department of the Army, 2100, is not in the report, and neither is any agency ID starting with 97. We have successfully created our report. As a final tip, you can add the contracting agency name to the report as another way to check that your report was filtered correctly. Just click into the Schema Objects, Attributes, and Department and Agency Information to find the contracting agency name. Drag that attribute onto the report, and the report will rerun with that column included. You can see when we sort that we only have the Department of the Air Force and the Department of the Navy. Department of the Army is not there. Now you've learned how to do a complex filter, and you've gotten a quick preview of drilling, sorting, and adding columns after running a report. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit the contract data page linked from the SAM.gov homepage. Remember, you can search the Federal Service Desk Knowledge Base for additional videos and frequently asked questions, or get help with technical issues at fsd.gov. To provide GSA feedback about features, functionalities, or about the user experience in SAM.gov, click the Feedback button located at the bottom of the site.